So I know a lot of you have probably clicked on this video hoping it's episode 21 of the disappearance of Robert B, our season one of the Ashes to Ashes true crime series. That episode won't be released to the public until January 11th. For subscribers, it will be out a week to three days earlier than that. I know people are probably curious about why we aren't putting out episodes every other week in regards to this case any longer, and that's because the tips have slowed down quite a bit, and now is what we're doing is really trying to fight to make sure a law enforcement agency takes the information that we found seriously and takes a hard look into this case. So during this fight, I definitely am going to need to ask for the community's help. I really can't do this alone, so I'm gonna have some action items for the community, and even outside of the community, if you're willing to donate a few minutes of time, I think you can definitely help us in some of the next steps here. So please, 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 maybe as a Christmas present to me, if you can help us write a letter, and I'll give you instructions on that as we move forward with this. I would be really grateful and I think it will help a lot. So even if you live in the UK or California or don't live in Pekin, that's okay. We need as many people to write letters as possible and if you have friends that are willing to write a quick letter, it really should only take five minutes of their time and it can have a really big impact on what we're trying to do. So I kind of wanted to explain to everyone how this is going to look moving forward for this case is what we're gonna do is update episodes. So as we fight through trying to get higher law enforcement to take a look at this, we'll be showing our progress on that. But my belief is we'll probably be doing an episode every month instead of every other week. So what I believe that is gonna look like is the second Monday of every month, we'll release an episode on the disappearance of Robert B and it will show our progress during this fight. We actually do have other tips coming on on the two main theories that have arisen throughout this series, which is Kendra's theory that she first came forward with and the theory about Keith Brackett. So it's episode 21, actually digging into those two theories and to see how plausible they are and to kind of compare and contrast them on what might have been more likely. And then we're still going to be looking into some of the other tips we've gotten around those two theories to see if we can come up with a definitive answer. So all that's still moving forward. The reason we're slowing down the show a little bit is because we're not getting the amount of tips in, and I don't just want to be making episodes that don't reveal new information. So is what the episodes will start to be is our progress on how we're fighting to kind of get Bonsai justice and about the new tips that are coming in and any new information. And then of course, if any arrests are made or anything happens on that end, we'll report on that as well. So we'll really try to be your updated source for the Robert B. Jr. case. So one of the first things we're gonna do here is start a letter writing campaign. And I think that's extremely important because we went out and we did a protest a couple weeks ago to ask the Pekin police, to ask the Illinois State Police for assistance. And from what I can tell the media that was there, the only quote they got from the Pekin police was that the state police had already helped on this case. And I feel like that's a little short-sighted because my understanding is the only time that the state police helped on this case is when Robert's bones were found. And is what we want them to do is to step in now and look at the new information that we've uncovered. So the person I'd really like to target first for the letter writing campaign, his name is Luke Satterley and he's the Master Sergeant for the Illinois State Police. Is what I would really appreciate everybody doing is just writing a really short letter. You can type it, you can handwrite it, uh, just throwing it in the mailbox and sending it to him. And I know it might seem easier to do an email or a social media post. The reason we're asking for hard copy letters is because we think that will have a larger impact. So I'll get you all the information throughout this video so that you can help us out. But really, it would be amazing if you could just start the letter with maybe some of your frustrations or who you are. So for instance, if you live in the Pekin community, maybe you could be like, I have some questions about the police in my community and if they're investigating this case properly. If you're from out of town, you know, please just say you're maybe a concerned citizen. You can say you've watched the series and you're concerned about some of the information coming forward and not being taken seriously. You can just write from your own personal stance. Maybe you had something personal happen to you that had never really been looked into. And you can start with that. And then is what I would really like to do is ask for the state's police involvement in the Robert B case and to let the public know that they're helping on the case currently. So maybe a sentence or two about can you let the community know if you're helping and what the steps that are being taken to look into the information that's come forward. And then as an ending, just you know, thank them for their time. 
What we're really hoping for is a real polite that just talks about your concerns. So you can make that as short or as long as you want. So I know some of you are poets, so please, you know, write the long letter that expresses your concern. And if you're just not that good at writing and all your letter said is please look into the Robert B case, that's fine too. Anything that you are capable of doing will help us immensely. So that letter will need to be addressed to Luke Satterley, and his name is spelled L-U-K-E-S-A-T-T-E-R-L-E-E. -E. So that address is 801 South 7th Street in Springfield, Illinois, and the zip code on that is 62703. So what I would really appreciate if these letters stay extremely polite and just ask for the assistance of the Illinois State Police in helping solve the Robert B. Jr. case. My hope also is to actually speak to Luke Satterley to turn over all the information that we've given. I have called him on one occasion without a response, and I will continue to try to get in contact with him. Is what I'm hoping for is just an hour-long meeting with him so I can show him the information that we've uncovered already, that we have already given over to the Pekin Police, and also information has come in since then. So we really would like someone to take time to sit down with my team so we can not only go over the past information, but the new information that we've uncovered. So please, you know, whatever form you would like to ask for them to come help the Pekin State Police, that's great, or ask them to please sit down with a meeting for me so I can show them the information that we've uncovered. I know so many of you have been so grateful for me and my team's time on coming out there and really taking a hard look at this case, and many of you have asked what you can do to help us. This would really help us. So we are going to have a few action items over the next couple months, and if you just have like five minutes each month that you can just help us with this action item, we would be really grateful. And I know everyone's probably a little bit disappointed that these episodes aren't coming out every other week, but please understand we only want to put information out there if it's valuable or adding to the information that we've uncovered. So I think that's why it's really important that we drop back to once a month right now. The good news, however, is the Carolyn Blankenfeld case. We're right in the middle of that, so that's still going really strong. So you'll still get to see those episodes every other week. And pretty soon here at the beginning of 2021, we will be announcing season three. So unfortunately for all of you beautiful people from Illinois, we won't be taking a case in Illinois until we've wrapped up the Bonsai case. And the only reason for that is it can just get too messy or if there's any of the similar people involved, it just becomes kind of too much to be focused on in one place. So we really need to see the Bonsai case all the way through. So if we do come back and do another case in Illinois, it'll probably be around 2022 that we do that. So I know a lot of people have reached out about some of the other murders in Peoria and Pekin, and we do have those and we are considering them. So I don't want you to think you've been left behind on this. It's just we really have to take this one area at a time, one case in that area at a time, just so that we don't get things jumbled. Or if we're doing things like protests or letter writing campaigns, that those don't get muddled between two cases. We really just need the law enforcement to stay focused on one at a time, and then we'll continue to hopefully move down that list of a lot of the other concerned family members from some of the other murders in the Peoria Pekin area. If you've only been watching this series to see Robert B and you aren't watching the other seasons, I definitely recommend that you do. If you have the time, these other cases are extremely interesting and you can still do things to help even though you don't live in these communities. So I definitely ask people to keep watching the other series and to try to get involved and help when you can on stuff like this. Episode 21 will be out at the beginning of January, however. So for subscribers, you'll get to see that around the 4th or the 8th, depending on what subscription level you're at. And if you do decide you want to subscribe, you just need to go to the website, www.ashes2ashtv.com. And for the public, it will be available on the 11th. We'll really be digging into the theory about Keith Brackett and the theory Kendra came forward and to see which one's more viable. We really want to dig into all the specifics of the case to see what's plausible and what's not plausible and if any theory holds more water than the other one. And we'll also be giving updates on the action items that we're doing as we move forward. So with this letter writing campaign is what I ask everybody to do is if you write a letter, please send me a picture of the letter you wrote or a screen grab if you typed it up. Just some way you can send that letter. I will include it in another episode. If you don't want your name included, just say that when you send the picture and we'll black out your name. But we would really appreciate being able to see those letters. Also, it will help us know how many letters were sent. 
And if you don't want to share your letter, but you just want to let us know that you sent a letter, that's fine too. Just drop us a message saying that you sent a letter so that we can kind of keep track if it's 10 people, if it's 100 people. We really need as many people to do this as humanly possible because that's what's really going to have the impact here. So I definitely ask that you please take the time to write a letter. I ask that you please do it in the next couple weeks if you can. That way we can see if we can impact Luke Satterley at all to at least give us an update on what's happening with this case and if they are actually helping currently as the Pekin police have suggested. So the next episode of What Happened to Carolyn Blankenfeld actually comes out on Christmas Day. So if you're bored on Christmas and looking for something to do, that episode will be out on Christmas Day to the public and those episodes will be releasing every other week still. I wish you all a happy holidays and please, please, please help us with this letter writing campaign. I'll look forward to getting messages from you guys with photos of your letters or just messages that you did send a letter and thank you so much for all your help in advance. The more people who do this, the better outcome we'll have. I promise you that.